Branson Song and Stage Boot Camp. Hi, I'm Marcia Smith. I'm at the Branson Song and Stage Boot Camp at Hughes Brothers Theater. And I'm talking to Nina Brett. She's a performer here locally in Branson. Tell us first, where do you perform? And a little about your performance background. I have been performing for a really long time. I went to school for it. Um, I went to a state college in New York called SUNY New Falls. And that's where I learned jazz. And I actually went to a performing arts high school so cool. that's where I learned to perform on stage. I am from upstate New York, a little town called Newburgh, New York. Um, I actually perform here in Branson at Sight and Sound Theater. Okay. And we're doing Noah right now, which is actually a lot of fun. There's a lot of animals. I play a character that's not really in the scripture, but you know, they just added it for interest. It's really fun and I get to fly. My character's name is the Torch Bearer, but um, yeah, I walk down the center aisle with a torch. They hook me up to a flight rig and I fly out. So nice. It's a lot of fun. Nice. Okay, so tell me, what are you doing here at boot camp? What is your role as a master teacher? Oh, what does that mean? <laughs> I'm not really sure. Um, I don't know that I would consider myself a master teacher. I do like to teach, though. I am teaching performance to the kids and it's been really interesting to just work with them and see how they view performance and and um, try to tailor their routines to their personality but also still make it something that would be amazing on stage so that's what I'm doing and so tell me a little bit about what you're seeing in kids from from day one as they arrive from day one, you could tell that they kind of weren't sure what they should be doing with their bodies, with their with their voices. Um, but just giving them a little bit of coaching has like, from just yesterday to today, I've been able to see improvement. I've been able to see growth in them taking the notes and applying them to their performances. It's been really cool. It's been very rewarding to watch. The growth is so fun to see. It really is. So you have today tomorrow and then they perform perform on Saturday yes so we have one more day of coaching and aside from polished performances what are some other goals what that you're trying to bring the kids along in uh, I think one of the things that is really difficult for them is that they and I think it's something that all performers go through they kind of feel like they have to be perfect and that's something that we feel in life. We feel like, oh, everything I do has to be perfect. When we really seem to forget that nobody's perfect. And so I'm not hammering them for perfect performances. I just want them to have fun. And when they do make mistakes, to power through them. And I think that's something that, at, as a performer, you learn that and you can apply it to life. When you make a mistake, don't broadcast the mistakes. Don't you know, completely quit because you made a mistake. Just keep going. You know, like they say, the show must go on. Just keep moving. So I think that's one thing that I'm looking to teach them. And I think they are learning that. So that's really what's more important than anything else they learn is to just keep going. And do you talk to them about life as well as their performance? Do you point out to them that they're learning life skills? I haven't yet, but I should. <laughs> Sometimes I do. I'll say like, well, do you do this in life? You know, that's not cool. Like, this is not something that you would do in your everyday life. So don't do it on stage, you know, stuff like that. But I think it would be good to point out to them that the things that they're learning are things that they can apply to their lives. Because every kid who leaves here is not going to be a professional performer. That is true. And that might not even be their goal. That is true, also true. But but performance is a metaphor for life. It really is. Right? It really is. Because when you step out on that stage, it's really just you and the decisions that you choose to make. Sometimes you're performing with other people, but your performance is the only thing that you can actually control. And I feel like that's life. You know, like what you do on the stage of life is the only thing that you can control. So doing your best, showing up, and not stopping because you made a mistake, not giving up because you made a mistake. Those are things that you can you can apply to every aspect of life. Yeah, very cool. 
And this is a great place for kids to learn. Also, you don't have to be, I'll be blunt, you don't have to be trashy to get applause. Or you don't have to lower your standards nope. to, to warrant an audience nope. admira admiration or... Nope. And the relationship with an audience, that's a metaphor for relationships in life too, right? That's true, yeah, I can see that. You don't, you're, like you said, you don't have to be trashy. You do have to be excellent, though. And I think, is that, is that what you said? You didn't say trashy. Yeah, said, what did you say? I don't know what you said. That's what I said. You said, oh, <laughs> that's what you said. You don't there's have to. There's probably a better word, but. There's probably a better word. You don't need but to But you be... don't have to make compromises. You don't have to compromise your values. You don't have to be, um, you don't have to be loose. You don't have to be any of the things that we see played out on, you know, the world stage or in movies or, you know, in other forms of entertainment. You don't have to be any of those things to, like you said, get applause. You just need to be excellent. You just need to be good at what you're doing. You just need to put on a good show. That will get applause. People recognize excellence. And again, that applies to life as well. If you're excellent, if you bring your best and you try, people, people definitely respond to that. You know, they respond to what you do, it's like what you do, what's done in the dark comes to the light. That right there is so applicable to what we do on stage. If you do not practice when people can't see you, when they can, it will show in the light. And so I think that's one of the things about performing that's really applicable to life. It's just like, you should practice. <laughs> and not, I heard this saying, um, it's not so much that practice makes perfect, it's perfect practice that makes perfect. So I don't think perfect is like, oh, you don't do anything wrong. I think it's like, did you have a good performance? Did people feel your heart when you went out there? That's really what's important. Yeah, life life and, and, the, and the stage are very closely related. So why be a master teacher? Why would you be willing to do this? What do you get out of it? I get to influence another generation. I get to watch kids take the talent that they have and shape it and hone it and really, really, I like to see the light bulb go on over their head. You know what I mean? Like, it finally clicked. I love that because I know that they're going to take whatever I taught them into their lives and really, really use it. So, I like teaching for that reason. Awesome. Me too. <laughs> Thanks for talking with us, my friend Mina. Thank Thanks you. for watching. Bye-bye.